Hi, welcome back to Wildcott Vintage. My name is Randy. I am the owner of Rockabilly Raven Vintage on Etsy. And here on my channel, we do vintage hauls and everything vintage clothing and thrifting. Today, I have a recap of 2019 thrift haul goodies that you've missed because I've been gone for two months. Where have you been, Randy Joe? Well, let me tell you where I've been. So, two months ago, my sister had a little one, and that was a major blessing, and it was amazing. Um, but she needed some support, so there's that. And then, in December, I had surgery. And I am recovered. Praise be to the Creator. Everything is good. Um, but I had to recover from that and because I'm not a big time YouTuber yet um, I couldn't really update you guys unless you are on social media with me, which if you're not Come hang out with me on social media. That'll be down around somewhere on my uh, header or it'll be down in the description um, but because I've missed you guys so much and I still thrift. Um, I have a lot of things to show you guys over the next probably couple of days, maybe a few weeks. So, to start off with, I have one bag of stuff, two bags of stuff, three bags of stuff. Four and five bags of all sorts of awesome goodies to share with you guys. Some of these I have a clip. Sorry of the who. <laughs> I have a clip of modeling and some of the things are just too small. They don't fit me. Um, so if I have a clip I will show you that I modeled them. If I don't then Imagine with me, my friends. So, let's go ahead and get started. So, all of these things were collected over the last probably six weeks or so um, that uh, I have been up and around and able and doing the things. Uh, I have things from Goodwills and VOA thrift stores and anything local here to me in Central Ohio. I certainly haven't been able to travel much because I forgot to mention on top of those two big things, we totaled our car. <laughs> so our car was totaled. It was a kind of a rough day when that happened, but everything was taken care of and we were blessed to have no injuries, no nothing, so no complaints. But when you are self-employed, and your job is to go and hunt down treasures in the winter in Ohio on a bike. Oh yeah, you make do, but riding around on a bike in 24 degree weather, and I don't know how to change that into Celsius, so maybe I'll add it, but we have now gotten a new vehicle, and new to us, and things are evening back out for 2020 so so with all of that here we go first awesome thing is oh yeah look at look at this print look at it oh it's like a leopard or a cheetah print it's got these great 80s shoulder pad like bold shoulder on it i have a little clip of me throwing it on I haven't figured out how to model things yet and show you the majority of me because I'm so tall, but I'm working on it. We're learning together, my friends. So, so that was a really awesome little find. I found it the same. This is all in the same bag, so I'm going to guess it's all from the same Goodwill. It's like I get to find it all over again because I get to show you guys. I found this awesome vintage 100% wool bathrobe oh yeah and what's so cool about it and I tried to show you when I modeled it is it has an E on it and my maiden name 
it starts with an E and so when I was teaching um, I was Mrs. E so I got myself a wool bathrobe so it might not actually end up staying here I might sell it because I thought it was a women's robe and it's a man's robe and I am decidedly shaped like a woman so we'll see what happens all right next in this awesome little cache of goodies I gotta fix the neckline because it's all gollywonk this is beautiful I hope you guys can see this really beautiful uh, wool fuzzy uh, turtleneck short sleeve turtleneck it is from Liz Claiborne and it's merino wool which is awesome good quality is a Liz Claiborne sport I think nope Liz Claiborne collection say that five times fast um, and so it's from the 80s early 90s I'm probably gonna keep that one for myself I might put it in the store um, because it's a small and I think I have a clip of it and it looks a little bit small on me but I didn't think it looked too bad so we'll see what happens um, the uh, next little treasure I was trying to see if the camera was focusing properly and I think it is I haven't done this in a while so we're learning together is this next little piece is inside out and all kinds of weird because I'm a professional this beautiful blouse with these amazing sleeves look at those I wanted this to fit sorry about that unfortunately the batteries decided to die so moving right along I also got in this same little Goodwill haul a lovely little taupe sort of a sheer uh, blouse it's got great sleeves very 1960s so it's got wonderful little lucite buttons um, it looks like it's homemade it doesn't have any tags so just a good little piece to put up in the store it has a wonderful detail which is when I can button the buttons nothing changes it doesn't matter if there's a new year or not I gotta button buttons anyway these great deep cuff button cuffs deep cuff button cuffs anyway we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna get through this we're gonna get through this because if I don't all of this stuff is gonna sit in my house and I won't be able to show you guys and it has to go in the store <laughs> all right friends I also got this absolutely beautiful white blouse oh look at that light is totally messed up on that just a great little um, high collared white very Victorian style blouse and so you don't have to look at the top of my head I also got hello I also got this fantastic crazy print 1970s wingtip collar oh yeah look at those look at them there you go blouse absolutely fantastic only has a uh, quarter front button which is kind of weird but is interesting and then lastly from that bag so that was an entire trip that was meant to be a video for you guys and I have had to rush through it because I've got four more to show you this is why I shouldn't wait two months to do a video absolutely beautiful 1940s very long Ugh kilt it's 100% wool I want to say it had a really good tag that I wanted to show you guys it's got leather straps on it that is decidedly a way to tell if you have a quality vintage kilt is if these are actually leather and not plastic or vinyl anything like that if they're not actually leather it might still you might still make a few bucks on it but the actual vintage older ones with the leather is what you're looking for 
Um, absolutely beautiful pleating. No, no tags. No tags for you. So there, whew, made it through one bag. All right, our next bag. All this has been sitting here for two months waiting for you guys to see it. Ah, home decor piece. Found a pillow, isn't it beautiful? I thought it was pretty fantastic. Oh, we're just gonna set that right there. So, uh, as well in this particular haul, which I believe I got all of these pieces at the same Goodwill as those, just a different trip. I also found brand new out of the package, vintage, look at these patterns. Oh my gosh, aren't they awesome? Vintage pillowcases from the 60s and 70s. So there's a set of four. And then these awesome ones is a set of two. And they're still folded. Like someone ripped them out of the package and threw them up on a shelf and I grabbed all of them. Um, if you are into vintage linens, um, there's lots of good Facebook groups for vintage linens. Um, make sure and read all of their rules before you are like, oh my gosh, I'm going to come check out the vintage linen groups. Some of them are really particular. Make sure and check the tags. You're always going to be looking for cotton or cotton blend. If it is not a uh, cotton or cotton blend, it's probably, it's not always, but it might not be vintage. Um, and Sometimes, like I said, if you get into one of those linen groups, make sure and check the rules on what is acceptable and just educate yourself. Um, you might find some brand spanking new ones at the thrift store that you could collect for yourself or maybe sell. These ones are all going to go up for sale, so those were a great find. Also found a beautiful leather wallet. It is, says St. Thomas, beautiful little inside. It's got a little coin purse. Um, I love this little wallet. It's really pretty. Um, it's so soft and it's that beautiful color. Um, I thought about keeping it for myself, but it doesn't have dedicated pockets for your identification. And it would be my luck that it would fall out. So nope, going in the store. Last thing from that bag is an absolutely phenomenal bark cloth, 1960s tiki tablecloth. Yes. If I don't use it as a tablecloth because it is a round, I might turn it into pillow covers. So, awesome. I'm gonna sneeze. I think, I think I'm gonna sneeze. So, from that same Goodwill, I also found two handbags. I'm going to reach out of frame. Sorry, everybody. The first handbag that I found was this little gem. So this is at a Goodwill. It has this great little transferware decal. It's got some velvet going on. It's lined. What's awesome is that the Goodwill didn't realize it was a purse and not just a basket and so they put a dollar 99 tag on it when they had already written three dollars there and I got it for a dollar 99 which is awesome because it's fantastic and it's a great spring purse but what's even better is when I went back the second time which is when I found all of the decor items I found another one so it's got a beautiful top on it. And these are mostly homemade. Whoever made these did a really, really good job. Ginny made these. I have a very, very dear friend whose name is Ginny and I could totally imagine her if she was alive in the 70s making phenomenal handbags. So um, she is also a vintage store owner and she's one of my favorite people because chick knows what's up. So a little shout out for her. It's got a beautiful, fabric lined inside got a little bow and it was also oh you go focus a dollar 99 so two different trips um i don't know if i had nope the other one i just looked at it doesn't the signature doesn't say jenny i don't know what it says but i found both of those baskets 
basket purses and I'm super excited about them. So my next bag is from a VOA in the next little town over. And these items have been waiting for me to show you since the day before our car got totaled. So without further ado, I give you all of the treasures from the VOA bag. First is a fantastic 1960s does 1920s style knit sleeveless dress. Oh yes. It is from Adol Adolfo? Adolfo. Adolfo. Oh tag. Oh tag. It is a brand I've actually seen more hats on versus dresses, but it was really fantastic to find. It was $2.99, which can't be beat. Can't wait to get that in the store. It is a little late now because it's brown, but I think someone will still want it. So let's see what else have I got for you, my friends. I have a beautiful black and red blouse. Oh, it's a really good size too. Look at that stripe and a bow at the, oh, the bottom. Ooh, I might have probably tried that one on. Ooh, goodness. Great price. It was a $1.99. Found a beautiful sheer polyester ruffle collar blouse. I think this one was 99 cents. It was absolutely wonderful. A wonderful orange jacket. Oh, look at these wingtip collars. Oh my gosh. It's really good. It's got great front pockets here. Oh yeah. Um, this one is actually probably like a working smock. Doesn't have an interesting tag. Tag just has an RN number on it, but um, it is a really good size. It is for a woman. It's got a darted bust. So that was kind of cool to find. Somebody's going to want that for a project or to do something cool with. Another really fun 60s, 70s piece is this pretty little thing. It has the cutest princess poof sleeves. It is a mini. I'm going to put a leather belt on it and it is going to be adorable. It's going to be absolutely amazing for a summer with some sandals, some leather sandals and a fringe bag and a big floppy hat. Oh, it's going to be amazing. So this beautiful sweater is an alpaca designer sweater and it is so art deco. I just love it. It's from the 80s. It says into into war something interwear alpaca. It's so soft. Oh, it's so soft. Um, I might keep this one. I don't really need another cardigan because I have a cardigan problem. So we'll see. Um, the colors are so pretty. It's got this like dusty blue and then these oranges and rust and fire colors. Oh, it's so beautiful. And it was a $1.99. So whether I keep it for a little while and sell it later or just go ahead and sell it, is a wonderful price. Sorry, I'm leaning out of frame. I found a stunning, very Victorian style blouse. And what's really cool about this is it has a cut work collar. That's what that means is cut work. When you can see through it like that. Um, it is a little bit newer, so this one will probably go up on eBay, but it has a fantastic vintage feel to it, vintage vibe, um, and I'm just here for it this season. So last blouse is this beautiful, beautiful detailed blouse. Has wonderful little piping and I don't know what this is called. I'll try and look it up. Um, but just absolutely beautiful uh, design work here in the front. Both of those are larges or extra larges, so I really got those for the size as well as how cool the pattern is. I found this really beautiful 1940s brown silk chiffon scarf. 
Um, only thing I hate about this one particular store is they stick the tag right in the middle of the scarf. And so it's just like, pray it doesn't get snagged on anything because holes are a thing. But I just thought this beautiful silk scarf with its picture uh, was just so pretty. And I'll probably keep that for myself for wrapping up my hair. Um, I might put it up in the store as well. I haven't decided yet. Last thing from this little bag and then on to handbags is a great acrylic scarf. Really good colors. These particular scarves, um, I wish I could find them because they're a perfect square. I wish I could find them in wool more often. Um, with these colors, they're so 70s, but they just make awesome. Ooh, that's going to look weird. Hang on. Let me re redo. Let me try and redo that. They make awesome head turban scarves when you don't have the fringe all over the place. So my braids are going to still be out, but I mean, look at that. It looks awesome. I love these things. This one is totally acrylic. So I am still trying to do more with just natural fibers, but if I can't find what I'm looking for in natural fiber, um, I am giving myself a little bit more uh, leeway so that I'm not causing undue stress on the environment and everyone else around me because I'm like, ah, oh, it has unnatural fibers in it. Much bigger problems to figure out in the world than that. So from that same store, I also got this really fantastic little tweed men's hat. My son wore it for New Year's and it was awesome. It's too big for him and I both, so that will go up in the store. Excuse me. Ah. Oh, pardon me. I also picked up these great men's vintage vests. There is a fourth one that you will not see because my son cabbaged onto it. It would help if it wasn't inside out. Sorry. Um, I picked these up. He's kind of been liking that more like Pinky Blinders style. So I am all about helping young people use history to express themselves. So if my son wants vests, we pick up vests. These ones, um, my son is six foot, almost six foot five at 16 years old. Um, so those ones were all too short for him. So I'll just put them up in the store. Um, he was at school when I was at the store that day. So that's why he wasn't there to try them on. And last friends for this haul are some handbags. So, found this beautiful vinyl brown handbag that I just thought was beautiful and stunning. Bottoms really nice. It is, aside from a little bit dusty, in beautiful condition. Really pretty lining. Absolutely fantastic. I found this 1940s leather handbag. I used this for a photo shoot. I'm going to see if I can find a picture for you guys. Um, it was absolutely fantastic. It was a Christmas photo shoot that was for the 40s. There is the tag. It's humongous, which is great because you can get your cell phone and your wallet and all the other things in there. Um, just a beautiful, beautiful bag. I was really excited to find that. I found this wonderful leather. It is probably crocodile, or not crocodile, alligator. Let me see if I can see the tag. It just says leather lined sterling genuine leather. Um, it is 100% from the 1940s. I picked it up for $4. It is in perfect condition. The handles are amazing. When you are picking up handbags, when you're picking up any anything, just make sure and check for damage. This is dust. All of this right here is dust. 
um, is just in beautiful shape and I was really excited to find that. Um, I do pretty well with handbags so I always like finding them for people. And then last in the handbags is this great little black velvet evening bag. It is a bell shape. It's got a really nice tag. It is from the 40s as well. I shouldn't call it a tag. It is a mark. It is the maker's mark. Nice strong snap. Beautiful handle. Absolutely fantastic. The last thing I will add to this haul since I have have it sitting here is I found these two suitcases. There's another suitcase inside this suitcase. So when I was growing up, my sister and I used to go visit my grandparents and we absolutely used these suitcases in this pattern. Like there's the little one and there's the slightly bigger one. <laughs> I found these. Um, they only charged me for the one because the other one was inside. I showed them that the other one was inside and the gal that rang me up was like, well, there's only one sticker, so I'm just charging you for the set. And I'm like, so I got these two absolutely wonderful, great, look at this fabric. Isn't it wonderful? Um, I got these great suitcase pieces for $4. So my friends, that's everything that is left over that I didn't get to show you in 2019. I am going to be honest, I am missing like three bags that I just processed. Um, there's a couple of really awesome 30s, 40s vintage hats that I know should have been in this haul. If I find them, and I am like, oh, oh, those were it. I got to show everybody. I'll pull them back out and show you guys. I'll do a whole nother video for you. Um, but yeah, I hope that you guys had a wonderful holiday season. I hope that you had nothing but too much food and good times. I am really, really glad to be back and able to share things with you, that my health is restored, and that I'm able to bring you all of the crazy finds that I pick up here in Ohio. Um, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. I will be filming a few of these together, so I'll have them kind of going boom, boom, boom. And, uh, and we are back in the saddle, my friends. So I hope this video has blessed you in some way. I know that your presence here blesses me. And I look forward to seeing you in the future. If you like these sort of things, stick around, hit the subscribe button. And I'll see you next time. Have a wonderful day. Bye. Hey, sorry about that. Batteries decided to die. Hang on. Is it actually focused on me? Hmm. I don't think so. Shoot. Hmm. Stopping. Stop.